So this is the second practice problem and now let's look at it. I have four resistors all in series. The current in this circuit, all of the current is going to go through every component. So I total is going to go through every component. Um, there's going to be a voltage drop across each one of these resistors. All right. And if we label them one, two, three, and four, all right, you can see that um, the voltage drop across each one of those resistors should be equal to, once we add them all up, should equal six volts. All right, so let's start first by um, finding the equivalent resistance. So the total R is going to be equal to. All right, 2.7 kilo ohms is 2,700 ohms plus 10 kilo ohms would be 10 three zeros ohms, all right, plus 3.3 um, .3 kilo ohms, 3,300 ohms plus 8,000, oops, 200 ohms. So my total resistance is going to be equal to 24,200 ohms. Now to find my, t so that basically I've reduced the circuit to be this thing now. Maybe I didn't do a good job of this on the last problem. Sorry about that. Now it's easy enough to find I, right? So if we want to find I now for that, we just use Ohm's Law. V equals I, R, however you prefer to do this. So I is going to be equal to V over R. And... I will plug in. You can see that that is going to be a very small I. And I get 6 divided by 2.479 times 10 to the minus 4 amps. So that's equal to point zero 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 two four seven nine amps right so that's really point two milliamps right it's a very small current all right so now let's go back and find the voltage drop across our expanded circuit all right so the I was And if I want to find the voltage drop across each component, I would do V1 equals I times R1, okay? And that is going to be 0 0.0002479 amps times 2,700 ohms. And that gives me V1 is equal to 0.66, oops, said the right thing, wrote the wrong thing, volts, all right, for the first one. Well, that's a very small voltage drop, but that's the smallest of my resistors, so it's going to have the smallest voltage drop. I'm going to do now um, V2. Point zero 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 two four seven nine times ten thousand. And V two is equal to two point four seven nine volts. Well, that's a bigger voltage drop, and that's my biggest resistor, so that's good news for me. Now let's look at um, 
V3, all right? V3 is going to be equal to um, I times R3, which is going to be Point eight one eight volts. Mm -hmm. That's my second smallest. It's bigger than the 2700, so seems to be okay still. And V4 is going to be point zero zero. Two point oh three volts. Okay, so as we look at that, I can check my work the same way again. I'm gonna kind of slide that where you can see all of them. If I add up V1 plus V2 plus V3 plus V4, I hope that I'm gonna get six volts more or less. So I can check again. And then, so I add those up, 0.669 plus 2.479 plus 0.818 plus 2.03. I get 5.996 volts. Mm, that's awfully close to the 6 volts I started with. So with rounding errors, that seems like it's good to me. So I think I've done everything just right. Okay, hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye.